With a shortened sitting at the legislature, obviously there's a lot to cram into three weeks and this week was no exception. We started the week with the Provincial Auditor's Report. Adam Hunter covers politics for CBC Saskatchewan and joins me now. Lots of stuff in that Auditor's Report of note. Yes, yeah, Sam, it's a lot to go through and the Auditor releases two reports a year. This was the volume one of the report. Always a lot of news coming out of that report. One thing I want to focus on and uh, is that got a lot of attention sort of later in the week was the fact that the Saskatchewan Highway Patrol was found to be making questionable purchases after an investigation uh, by the auditor and, and others, an outside agency. And that led to the firing of the former chief, Robin Litzenberger. Uh, things were purchased like uh, silencers, drones, um, aut automatic weapons and a high power rifle scope, just a, a few of the things that were purchased by uh, by the Highway Patrol that were deemed to be questionable. Also, we started the week in phase 4.1 of the province's reopen plan. And then on Tuesday, more details that are going to roll out this coming Monday. I think a lot of people were surprised by how quickly that information came out. Yes, early on in the pandemic, you know, we were told by Dr. Shahab and the Premier that they would take a few weeks between and maybe two weeks between opening up, reopening phases. And that's windows dramatically shortened as we've seen in the past uh, you know some guidelines change within days of reopening as you mentioned you know things like movie theaters uh, we're going to see uh, contact sports is another one in there that was uh, just changed recently so those changes are being announced very quickly we should expect to hear the the last uh, bit of things that haven't been open yet things like uh, bingo halls casinos uh, indoor pools that date will be announced next week. Uh, the government saying that'll be the last of the uh, things that weren't allowed to be opened to be reopened. Uh, we're not sure exactly when that will happen. But as you mentioned, Sam, uh, a lot of guidelines to keep track of. Initially, the guidelines were about 20 pages, 20 to 30 pages. Now it's well over 100 pages. And obviously next week is the last week of this shortened sitting. There's a vote and then we're done until technically we go to the polls in October. The big highlight for next week is, is the budget vote, which will take place on Thursday. Uh, Canada Day is a holiday, so only four more days. Uh, the budget vote's pretty much a formality. The government will vote for it. The NDP will likely vote against it. And we will see only one more day after that. A lot of uh, careers of MLAs will be wrapping up. There's a number of MLAs who are not seeking re-election. So it'll be interesting to hear their final remarks as they leave the legislature. But uh, just four more days for the NDP and the government to make an impression on voters in the assembly when everyone's paying attention before summer break then we will get you know the big ramp up for the election campaign likely late summer early fall keep your calendar circled for that october 26th date and after next week we will see uh, uh some new politicians in the legislature but that won't be until after the election sam thanks adam